What's up YouTube? It's your girl Kiara back in the building and I'm back with another hair tip video. And today, if you couldn't tell by the title, I'm gonna talk to you guys about how to properly wash your hair. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I have so many clients that always, um, as soon as they come in, I ask them, I say, uh, what's your wash routine at home? Like, oh, I just use them, um, I just use a, they, and they always say like, um, I just use a shampoo and a conditioner. And I'm like, well, what kind of shampoo? And they're like, mm, I don't know. Uh, it say it got moisture in it. And I'm like, huh, okay. So I'm like, do you, I always like ask them, like, do you have a picture? So you could show me? And usually they know, usually some of them know what they use. Some of them don't know what they use. Well, one common thing that I always run into with almost every single person that I run into, it, it's, Actually, nope, not almost every person I'm lying because some people actually do know the proper steps. So I, I can't say that for everybody. But for the people that don't know, this video is for you. So first and foremost, I wanna demonstrate, cause I'm a visual learner, so I'm gonna demonstrate what a cuticle is. So a cuticle is this big, it's literally one, it's like this literally like this and cuticles they open and they close they open and they close they open and they close they open they close they split like all kinds of stuff so like you really 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 have to take care of the hair but the first step to your shampooing process is clarify you need to clarify your hair that is the first step to washing hair so this is my paul mitchell shampoo 2 my and it literally says it right there clarifying remove build up so this is what i love to use on my clients so like um this cleans the hair this literally cleans the hair it cleans it so if i clean the hair don't you think i gotta put like something back into it yeah i do so um what i do is i clarify the hair first and then this is what happens when you clarify so when hot water hits the hair your cuticle expands right so now that first initial rinse when I first wash your hair, I got your cuticle wide open how I want it, right? So I need to clean it. So I go in, I use this, and I clean it, right? But now it's still open, right? So you gotta think, it's open, but I'm cleaning the hair. So you got, I'm pulling out, I'm pulling out all the oils, I'm pulling out all the dirt, I'm pulling out all the um, everything. If you have braids, I'm pulling out everything, right? So now you have nothing in absolutely nothing in your hair and that cuticle is still wide open so step two is you need a moisturizing shampoo right you need a moisturizing shampoo so what happens is with the clarifying shampoo what happens is, is I'm taking all the oils all the dirt all everything out right so I need to go in with a moisturizing shampoo because everything that I just took out I gotta put it back in right so moisturizing shampoo i use olaplex um i really like olaplex um and i also like another one called it's a 10 but i have been trying to find like other professional products so comment down below and let me know so i can try them out um but yes so this is step two a moisturizing shampoo gotta have it right you don't have to have olaplex but you have to have a moisturizing shampoo now sometimes shampoos it will literally say like moisturizing cleansing and moisturizing mm. you gotta think are they really doing both at the same time no it's not so like literally have two separate ones there's three steps to a shampoo process and the last step is also i still got the cuticle wide open so now with this moisturizing shampoo i just put it all the moisture back into your hair so then it gives you that shine it gives you that bounce i literally just put it right back into the hair everything i took out all the dirtiness all the gut i just put it back in so now what i need to do is now after i rinse the moisturizing shampoo out i need to condition your hair so 
condition the hair and I still got that cuticle wide open. It's still open. So step one, take all the dirt, oil, clarifying shampoo. Step two, we're gonna go back in and we're gonna do the moisturizing shampoo because everything that I just took out, I gotta put back in, right? So then the last last step is you go in with your clarifying, no, sorry, you go in with your um, moisturizing shampoo and boom, um, there you have it. But one of the most, 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 most important steps is after you have your conditioner in your hair and you can let your conditioner sit if you really want like a deep condition let it sit for like a 15 20 minutes longer um than normal and then rinse it out but the key the key key <laughs> to your washing process is rinsing your conditioner out with cold water so what happens is warm water expands the cuticle cold water shrinks it so you gotta think, when I first start washing your hair, I got your cuticle wide open. I am taking all the dirt, all the oils, and then I'm going in with my moisturizing shampoo, I'm putting it back into the hair, right? So then, now, after I rinse the moisturizing shampoo out, then I'm going in with conditioner. Letting that sit, doing a steam treatment, protein treatment, whatever, whatever you need, right? So, one, I have that cuticle wide open. The moment that cold water hits those cuticles, it shrivels back up. So now I've cleaned your cuticle. I've moisturized it. I conditioned it, and now it's ready to be styled. Um, next thing is this is for my salt and pepper gray girls, right? So this is the step. These are the steps that I use for my salt and pepper girls. So of course, going back in, cleaning the hair, right? Clarifying shampoo, cleaning it. Moisturizing shampoo, boom right after after i do my moisturizing shampoo i go in with the purple shampoo only because a lot of times no a majority of the time if somebody's taut and pepper or all gray and if you're doing a silk press on them or any kind of heat on them their strands will turn gray so to eliminate that if you know your color wheel which that'll be another video me explaining the color wheel um if you know your color wheel, you know that purple shampoo eliminates yellow. So, so then when you go back in, when you when you rinse that purple shampoo out and you get ready to put that heat to it, golden baby. So then after you rinse the purple shampoo out, you can let the purple shampoo sit for like five, for three to five minutes. Well, mm, sometimes I don't even do it that long, honestly. Uh, it honestly depends on how salt and pepper they are or how gray they are. So, but then last step, I go in with my moisturizing shampoo. Um, I also like, um, another one that I really, really like is, uh, I really like it's a 10. Um, this one I use on myself. Um, and that's also another thing that I want to touch bases on is when you, you have to find a shampoo that works for you. Like everybody's hair is different. Literally everybody's hair is different. Not everything is going to work the same on everybody. So one thing that I realized was when I started using Olaplex, yeah, it was cool. I liked it but I didn't feel like my hair was soft and conditioned when I was um, when I was in my washing process. Now it's a 10, baby, it's a 10 gives me that immediately. Like the moment I put the shampoo, the, uh, the moment I put the moisturizing shampoo on my hair and then I put the conditioner on it and then I do a deep condition, oh my God, my hair feels so amazing. But not knocking Olaplex, I love Olaplex, but like if I didn't have it's the 10, if I didn't have like my It's a 10, I would use Olaplex, but I'm just stick with my It's a 10. So, um, yeah, but I wanna dive, I also wanna dive just a little bit deeper into clarifying shampoo. So give me one second. So shampoo, these two right here. So I went to Paul Mitchell, graduated from Paul Mitchell. Um, proud to be gra graduated from Paul Mitchell. And one of the products that I, two of the products that I fell in love with when I was in school was shampoo two and shampoo three. There is a huge difference between the two, a huge difference. Shampoo three, it's 10 times more, um, it's 10 times, sorry. Um, shampoo three 
is 10 times more intense than shampoo too. So ten, shampoo too is for like your normal day-to-day, -day, um, your normal like day-to-day -day shampoo. Um, you just washing hair just to clean it cool. This baby right here, this stuff move, it removes, it literally says right on the bottle, clarifying removes chlorine. So if you're a swimmer, if you're in the water a lot or deal with chlorine a lot to clean your hair, this is this is it right here. Now, um, when do I use the two or when do I decide to use the two? I decide to use shampoo three, which is the more intense one, when I have a client who's had braids in for more than um, for more than two months. Only because more than likely, a lot of times they don't wash their hair with their braids in. So I really, 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 really need to get it clean. Um, shampoo too, I use it just for normal, normal day to day. Um, so if I have like someone who comes every two weeks, I'm gonna use shampoo too on it. Like that's, that's just, but sometimes, one, one thing that I really, really like with Paul Mitchell and that one thing that I noticed was when I use shampoo three, if my shampoo three doesn't sud up or like lather up and get a lot of bubbles, that lets me know that the hair is not clean. So what I do is, because I don't wanna go in with, um, I don't wanna go in with two, um, two intense clarifying shampoos because it could be too harsh on the hair and it could be too harsh on the scalp. So um, what I would do is, if my shampoo three doesn't sud up, the way that I the way that I wanted to, like I said, it lets me know that the hair is not clean. So what I do is I use this one first, I rinse it out, and then I go in with the more softer one. And when this one suds up, that lets me know that the hair is clean. Uh, and um when the hair is nice and squeaky, like it literally like you could rub your fingers across it and it'll feel squeaky. That's also how I know that this is um that they that they both worked. Also, um, make sure that I double check and I go into the, like I part the hair and I make sure like I clean the scalp, um, not clean the scalp, but make sure the scalp is clean. But sometimes a lot of people do need, um, do need to clarify. Like cleaning the hair is the most important part of your washing process. Like if your hair is not clean, it's not gonna style right. It's not going to, you, your curls ain't gonna bounce back. Like you have to understand the process of actually washing your hair. So that's the end of this video. If you want me to go a little bit more in depth about how I do my deep conditions and my steam treatments or whatever, comment down below. All I can say is I've definitely noticed that you guys like hair tip videos. So I'm very, 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 very knowledgeable about what I do. I also am excited about what I do. Um, I still randomly like read my cosmetology book because why not refresh myself? Um, but there's so many more hair tips coming up. I mean, so many more hair tip videos coming up. Um, I'm going to do some cutting demonstrations. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do how I do my washing. Well, I already, I already told you guys that, but I'm going to do what products I use for certain, for my silk presses. I'm going to do, um, I'm, oh, it's so much stuff coming up. Like cosmetology is so broad. I have so much content I can make so much, but I'm gonna keep coming out with these videos. Um, you guys are also going to see some vlogs from me every once in a while, only because that's just, I like to vlog. So why not? I'm just gonna vlog. Um, and yeah, that's the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And there's gonna be more hair tips and more videos on the way. See ya.